For instance, if you invest at least 280,000 euros in real estate in Portugal, a country that is part of the Schengen area, you'll be given an opportunity to obtain a resident permit and later on citizenship for your, for your family members, including dependent children. Hello lovelies, this is Hellerics World. Welcome to another interesting video. And if this is your first time here, and you are someone who is passionate about social issues that affect Nigerians living in Nigeria or in other parts of the world, then you are at the right place. In this channel, I also share my life experiences and that of other immigrants living here in Switzerland. So if you love what I'm doing here, yes, please, please do, not, do not hesitate to subscribe to this channel and kindly hit on the red bell notification button so you will be the first to know whenever I upload a new video. And to my returning subscribers, you are welcome back. In this video, I want to be highlighting some of the ways Nigerians can legally relocate abroad. I'll be explaining to you six different methods that you can legitimately use. So, so it will be up to you to choose which one of the methods that best suits you. So without further ado, let's get started. If you are a Nigerian who lives in Nigeria, there is a high probability that the thoughts of relocating out of the country must have crossed your mind at one time or the other. Sorry to say, mainly due to the economic challenge in the country, poor educational and health standards in Nigeria, maybe due to security and other challenges in the country. And from research, we have known that not less than 70% of Nigerians are willing to leave the country given the opportunity. The process of legally immigrating can be rigorous and brain taxing. And that is why today we are going to be talking about and addressing these issues. Six legitimate ways to relocate from Nigeria to overseas. The first on my list is relocation through student visa. This method is one of the most appreciated way of relocating because you will be gaining academic, academically at the same time. It is literally one of the most popular ways of relocating from Nigeria. You may choose to apply for your graduate or master's program depending on your initial level of education. Every country you want to immigrate to has schools that offer courses or to um, for international students. Some countries have more affordable tuition fees than others, depending on the course you want to study. As a student abroad, you may have great opportunity of integrating into the society of the country you are schooling. When you complete your studies in the UK, for example, you will be allowed to stay and then work for two more years in Canada, Australia, Belgium, they encourage graduates to join the workforce and become permanent residents with time. In fact, there are several cases of international students who got jobs even before they graduated. Number there are however some countries that maintain a strict policy of returning students back to their home countries after the completion of their education. Switzerland, for instance, will give you the right to stay after your master's program just for six months to see if you can get a job. So in making the decision of which country you want to pursue your academic goal, you may have to be wise to choose a country that will allow you to stay and join the workforce after your program. Second on my list is migrating as an asylum seeker. If you are fleeing or running away from persecution, or you have been forced to leave your country, or you are escaping from a serious harm, you have the right to seek refuge in a foreign land. But for your application for asylum to be accepted, you need to make the application in that country. 
you generally cannot apply from outside the country. However, there are some rare cases whereby you are permitted to submit humanitarian applications to the embassy of the country you wish to seek refuge from. When you present your request, the authorities will then decide if your asylum will be granted or not. There is a compulsory investigation that they will carry out to determine if you're eligible for refugee protection or not. For instance, the Nigerians that fled from Ukraine into Switzerland to seek asylum were not granted asylum. They were received into the country quite well, but their refugee status was not accepted. Because according to them, Nigeria is a peaceful country and there is no need for a hiding place for Nigerians. So as a result, not every candidate will ultimately be given asylum. Number three on my list is immigration through investor visa. There are several countries in Europe, such as Portugal, Spain, and Greece, and other parts of the world, which offer investment visa. Whenever you can invest, invest a certain amount of money into real estate in that country, that will automatically qualify you to become a resident of that country or a citizen of that country. For instance, if you invest at least 280,000 euros in real estate in Portugal, a country that is part of the Schengen area, you'll be given an opportunity to obtain a resident permit and later on citizenship for your for your family members including dependent children you can then renew this visa every two years as long as you can spend not less than two weeks in the country every two years the good thing about having a resident permit in any of the countries in the Schengen area is that you have the opportunity and the privilege to assess any of the 22, um, 26 countries that make up the Schengen area in Europe. The fourth legal way of relocation is through the talent visa. As the name implies, it's for people with different skills and extraordinary talents the countries that offer talent visa to highly skilled professionals are countries like Australia, China, France, New Zealand, UK, and also the US. The fifth on my list is through family reunion. Having family members who are citizens or permanent residents of other countries is an easy way to migrate overseas. As a non-national, it is your right to enter and reside in the country where your family members reside lawfully. You have to be able to prove legally that you are the spouse or parent or child to the principal migrant. So if you have a spouse residing in any of the Western countries like Canada or any of the countries in Europe, with a resident permit or citizenship of that country, then that you have the um, opportunity or the privilege to join your spouse. Husbands and children or wife can join their spouse living abroad. Also getting legally married to a citizen of another country, we grant you the resident permit and the right to move in to join your spouse in that country. The sixth legal method of relocating abroad is relocating as a professional. This is the current trend now. You see a lot of Nigerian professionals leaving Nigeria to continue their business and professional careers abroad, like nurses, doctors, and other healthcare workers. Teachers and skilled workers are not left behind. These countries offer work visas to people who are interested to move in into the country to work. 
I would also like to add that there are some international organizations that allow their workers to relocate from Nigeria by transferring them to branches of their company in other countries. The organization will be able to help you through the visa processes, although this is not as common as it used to be decades ago. So if you have enjoyed watching this video, please do click on the like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Love from Elerix World.